pretty good. How many of you had turkey? How many of you had hamburgers? No. How many of you had hot dogs? Hot dogs. How many of you had ham? Hmm. Most of you eat turkey? How many of you had fish? How many of you had liver and onions? <laughs> Have you ever had liver and onions? Don't. Okay. <laughs> so, boys and girls, today our church thinks about Jesus as being the king of the universe. You know what a king and a queen, you know those kings and queens, that means they have all power. They can do anything. And Jesus, if he's the king of everything, not just the earth, but of heaven, and even beyond the heavens, part of like the universe, the universe, Jesus is king of everything. Do you agree with that? And Jesus can do anything for us, anything with us. He listens to every single one of us. He's the king who's not like way out there, but he is here with us, right? So think about this, thank you. Think about this. If you were a king or a queen for one day, what would you do? Imagine if you could do anything. If you could order people to do anything. You could make rules, you could do away with rules, you could do whatever you want. So, here's the crown. That's a symbol of power. <laughs> yes. So you put the crown on for a day. What would you do? Think about it. Wait a minute. Hold it over your head, Your Majesty. What is your wish, Your Majesty? Tell us. Lower taxes. Lower taxes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. You've been listening to your parents. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, Your Majesty, what is your wish? More food. More food for everybody. Next. What is your order? Ice cream. Ice cream for everybody. Okay. Let's go down here. Put it on. Tell me what, what is your wish, Your Majesty? Instead of cars, we ride horses. Oh, instead of cars, we ride horses. I like that. <coughs> your Majesty, what is your wish? Feed the homeless. Feed the homeless. Oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> Trying to curry favor with the priest. I know. Okay. <laughs> Put this on. Your Majesty, your wish is our command. To give money to the poor. Give money to the poor. Next. To own a farm, just for you? <laughs> You're gonna be that kind of royalty. I <laughs> Fine, okay. Put this on. What was, if you had all the power to do anything, what would you do? Make everything free. Make everything free, I like that. Okay. What would you do, Your Majesty? Save the earth. Save the earth, okay. <laughs> Down here, sir. Save world pollution. Save world pollution. Let me think about that. Or you do away with pollution, yeah. right? Okay. Anybody else have some fun ideas? You guys are so serious compared to the last mess. Okay. What would you do, Your Majesty? Just to make our world peaceful and happy. Very good. Good ideas. You'd be a good woman, huh? Do you think it would be easy to do all those things? Mm -hmm. No, it wouldn't be hard. Okay, who else has some fun ideas? Come on. Put on the crown. And tell me what you would order and make possible. Video games. Video games, all right. 
Now there's more honest dancer right there, okay? No. Okay, here. Okay, what would you do? Everybody would have to give you what? Hot Wheels cars. Okay. Very demanding king. How about over there? We got a few more people, a little more time here. Free candy for everybody, okay. Couple more. Say that again. Oh my God. I can't even repeat that. Everybody she hates would go to jail. You could be president of some countries, I understand. Yeah. Okay, one more. Come on up here. You are king for a day. You could do anything, anything you wanted. What would you do? Set people free. So you'd put them in jail, he said. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now, boys and girls, let's talk about this. Sometimes kings and queens and rulers in the world, they don't always do good things, huh? Sometimes they have laws and they do things for themselves. Is Jesus like that? Does he, as the king of the universe, does he do things just for himself? What does he do? Name some things that Jesus commands that we do. What did Jesus say as the king? He tells us, this is how you're gonna get to heaven. You wanna be in my kingdom? You must do some things. What are some of those things? Be thankful. Be thankful. Care for others. Care for others. Obey the Ten Commandments. He saved us by forgiving our sins. Yes. You're still talking about Hot Wheels over there, too. Okay, what else did Jesus command us to do? Be nice to people. To sing and pray. To go to school, okay? Yes. No killing. What else? Not be mean. So you know what we just read, the story that Deacon David just read? Someday Jesus will come again like a king on, on the clouds with the angels. And everybody, he's going to judge us, right? And those who are judged like going to heaven are the ones who did those things, who fed people who were hungry, who helped the poor, who were nice to the sick, who visited people who were lonely, people, as you said, who were thankful and grateful and prayed. Those are the people that Jesus says, I want in my kingdom, okay? But then there are some people who don't do anything like that, right? And Jesus says, you cannot be in my kingdom. So the idea, boys and girls, if Jesus is our king, we have to do really what the king asks of us, right? So you know all the things that we're just talking about are his commandments for us. And if we follow his commandments as our loving king who wants good things for us, then we will be in his kingdom. Where is the kingdom of Jesus? Where is it? Is it like down the street over there? Or is it down 99 South? Where? Where heaven, heaven is the kingdom of Jesus. And he promises that we can be there where everything will be free. Candy, Hot Wheels, you name it, okay? Okay, boys and girls, any questions? Anybody else have any final comments? Uh, that you respect. That you respect people, okay? One more. So he has a good question. If Jesus is watching us right now, why doesn't he just come down here so we can see him? Well, we think that he is going to come someday so we can see him. But he's asking us to try to make things better, right? There's a lot of bad things that go on that Jesus does not like. But we are his friends. 
and we have to try to do things for people, right? If people are fighting, we have to try to be peaceful. If people hate each other, we have to love each other. If people are stingy and don't help the poor, we have to be generous and help the poor. So Jesus is waiting for us to do those things, right? You all agree? Good, because now we can stop. Okay, so thank you, boys and girls. Let's all stand and say our profession of faith.